sorry, the video ran out there again. We are still we're at the 17 minute point right now. iLoad is still going. It's not yet done with that disk. Um, but the point that I was just trying to make there was that basically, you know, what we do, we don't do with any attempt to collect money at all from our readers. We do it for the benefit of our readers to try to provide information on what we have and, you know, what we get into our testing labs. Our goal is not to in any way distort things. We try to make corrections of substance when we get them. But the people from Wingspan um, took a very different tactic and decided that they were going to um, try to turn this into a video battle and try to turn this into a big controversy. We've had people from the company come on to iLounge and attempt to, you know, post supposed testimonials, even though they're really investors from the company and really, like, you know, people affiliated with the company in some way. Um, and, you know, that's, that's basically their goal. We're not going to continue to drag this out in public anymore. Um, so right now, it's updating the iPod. It's not done yet. It's right now copying all the files to the iPod. And I'm going to hit the stop button on the iPod as soon as it's done. It has to update the music database too, and now it's ejecting the CD, and I'm going to hit stop. The total time that it took for iLoad to rip that disk was 18 minutes and 22 seconds for a single disk. Obviously, not optimal circumstances for iLoad, as we said throughout the video, but unfortunately, that's just the sort of way that it works under certain circumstances. Um, many cases, when we deal with companies that have bugs in their software or have other sorts of performance issues, the companies are upfront, honest about those issues. They will, you know, make corrections. They'll try to fix the firmware. They'll try to, you know, talk to our readers in a respectable way, talk to us in a respectable way about issues that have been discovered. But instead, what the, the iLoad people have done is basically try to smear us, make us look bad, even when we could demonstrate the exact results that we had, we tried to point out to them what some of the issues might be. They were not interested in hearing it and just wanted to get into a big campaign with us to fight us and, you know, present some sort of information from their perspective. It's, you know, they're welcome to do whatever they like to do in terms of presenting information. We're done at this point um, producing videos, try to go back and forth. They've requested this unit back from us, and it's going to go back. We have no need for it anymore, and just like we don't think that most of our readers have a need for something like iLoad, given the fact that they have fantastic computers that are capable of ripping disks, getting, you know, better quality meta tag information, and also, um, you know, having the whole thing done with a hard drive backup, which you would have to pay extra to do with iLoad, or supply your own hard drive. So, we think overall, as we said in our initial review, iLoad is not a great value for the dollar, we think that people are better served just using iTunes with their iPods the way it was intended to be. And, um, you know, most of the time the results that you get are going to be a lot better than what you get from iLoad and faster, too. So I hope that that explains our perspective on this. And uh, maybe in the future we'll be able to do some video stuff for iLounge that isn't quite so uh, negative. Thanks for watching.